want to read you just a little story really quick out of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now, this story is called What I Would Do If I Had a Million Dollars. This story proves the truth of that old saying, where there's a will, there's a way. It was told to me by that beloved educator and clergyman, the late Frank W. Gonzalez, who began his preaching career in the stockyards region of Chicago. While Dr. Gonzalez was going through college, he observed many defects in our educational system, defects which he believed he could correct if he were the head of a college. He made up his mind to organize a new college in which he could carry out his ideas without being handicapped by orthodox methods of education. He needed a million dollars to put the project across. Now, where was he to lay his hands on so large a sum of money? That was the question that absorbed most of this ambitious young preacher's thought. But he couldn't seem to make any progress. Every night, he took the thought to bed with him. He got up with it in the morning. He took it with him everywhere he went. He turned it over and over in his mind until it became a consuming obsession with him. Being a philosopher as well as a preacher, Dr. Gonzalez recognized, as do all who succeed in life, that definiteness of purpose is the starting point from which one must begin. He recognized, too, that definiteness of purpose takes an animation. Life and power went backed by a burning desire to translate that purpose into its material equivalent. He knew all these great truths, yet he did not know where or how to lay his hands on a million dollars. The natural procedure would have been to give up and quit by saying, oh well, my idea is a good one, but I cannot do anything with it because I never can produce procure the necessary million dollars. That is exactly what the majority of people would have said, but it was not what Dr. Gonzalez would have said. What he said and what he did are so important that I now introduce him and let him speak for himself. One Saturday afternoon, I sat in my room thinking of ways and means of raising the money to carry out my plans. For nearly two years, I had been thinking but I had not done anything but think. The time had come for action. I made up my mind then and there that I would get the necessary million dollars within a week. How? I was not concerned about that. The main thing of importance was the decision to get the money within a specific, specified time. And I wanted to tell you that the moment I reached a definite decision to get the money within a specified time, a strange feeling of assurance came over me, such as I had never before experienced. Something inside me seemed to say, why didn't you reach that decision a long time ago? The money was waiting for you all the time. Things began to happen in a hurry. Now, did you catch all that? He decided something, he made a decision, and he went for it. Things began to happen in a hurry. I called the newspapers and announced I would preach a sermon the following morning entitled, What I Would Do If I Had a Million Dollars. I went to work on the sermon immediately. But I must tell you, frankly, the task was not difficult because I had been preparing that sermon for almost two years. Long before midnight, I had finished writing the sermon. I went to bed and slept with a feeling of confidence where I could see myself already in possession of the million dollars. He saw himself already in the possession of it. That's very important to realize. The next morning, I arose early, went into the bathroom, read the sermon, then knelt on my knees and asked that my sermon might come to the attention of someone who would supply the needed money. While I was praying, I again had that feeling of assurance that the money would be forthcoming. In my excitement, I walked out without my sermon and did not discover the oversight until I was in my pulpit and about ready to begin delivering it. It was too late to go back for my notes, and what a blessing that I couldn't go back. Instead, my own subconscious mind yielded the material I needed. When I arose to begin my sermon, I closed my eyes and spoke with all my heart and soul a 
my dreams. I not only talked to my audience, but I fancy I talked also to God. I told what I would do with a million dollars if that amount were placed in my hands. I described the plan I had in mind for organizing a great educational institution where young people would learn to do practical things and at the same time develop their minds. When I had finished and sat down, a man slowly arose from his seat, about three rows from the rear, and made his way toward the pulpit. I wondered what he was going to do. He came into the pulpit, extended his hand, and said, Reverend, I liked your sermon. I believe you can do everything you said you would if you had a million dollars. To prove that I believe in you and your sermon, if you will come to my office tomorrow morning, I will give you the million dollars. My name is Philip D. Amore. Young Casales went to Mr. Amore's office and, and the million dollars was presented to him. With the money, he founded the Amore, Amore, Amore Institute of Technology, now known as Illinois, Illinois Institute of Technology. The necessary million dollars came as a result of an idea. Back of the idea was a desire which young Consolas has been nursing in his mind for almost two years. Observe this important fact. He got the money within 36 hours after he reached a definite decision in his own mind to get it and decided upon a definite plan for getting it. I want you to start realizing you have things that you can do just like this. If you just put your mind to it and have a definite purpose and a desire and a passion to get it done. Just, you know, all of this stuff, when you listen to it, follow and see how it applies to yourself, okay? There was nothing new or unique about young Gonzalez Vague thinking about a million dollars and weekly hoping for it. Others before him, in many sense have, many since his time, have had similar thoughts, but there was something very unique and different about the decision he reached in that memorial, memorable Saturday when he put vagueness into the background and definitely said, I will get that money within a week. Moreover, the principle through which Dr. Consales got his million dollars is still alive. It is available to you. This universal law is as workable today as it was when the young preacher made use of it so successfully. Now this book is chocked full of information like that, how you can be a better person, how you can fulfill your dreams and your desires, how to, be a, how to just get things that you want that will make you happy throughout your life. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. You gotta get this book. Now why did I read you that story? out of this book because I want you to get this book, Think and Grow Rich, okay? Not only are you going to get rich money-wise, if you read this book, you are going to get rich in so many other aspects of your life. It's going to be crazy impossible for you to even think about until you get this book. you got to read this book. This is my favorite, one of my favorite inspirational entrepreneurial books and you don't have to be an entrepreneur in order to read this book okay it's gonna cost you like the cost of a pizza to buy this book and read it now see this book looks pretty new that's because my old book that I had the covers off of it and the first couple pages are off of it the back page is off of it because I read it so much the, the, the purpose of this book is to make you a better person, okay? And the best way to read this book is you read it through the first time. You don't write anything down or anything. Just read it and absorb whatever you can get out of it. The next time you read it, and they say to read a book three times, okay? You've gotta read this at least three times. The first time, just like I explained, the second time, you are then going to start making some notes, earmarking the different pages, write certain things down. The third time, you're going you're gonna to start applying this stuff. Write this th stuff down and do what it says for you to do. You'll, you'll be 
amazed at what you can get out of this book, okay? Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. You've got to get it.